good morning students today we are going to start our new chapter knowing our number the name itself is saying that we are going to learn something new about numbers till now we learn about addition subtraction multiplication and division of numbers we also learn the patterns of numbers let's recall some topic before starting a new exercise first is let's make greatest and smallest number if i am giving you four digits 3 4 7 and 1 and i'm asking you to make a greatest number from this and the smallest one so how we will start first for the greatest number we'll choose the greatest number from these four so 7 is the greatest digit so 7 will come first and now we'll go in the descending order so 7 then 4 then 3 and then 1 in this way our greatest number is 7431 in the smallest number we'll go in the ascending order it means we'll take the smallest number first and then we'll go ahead so in this four digits the smallest number is 1 then 3 then 4 and then 7 so my smallest number is 1347 and my greatest number is 7431 let's do some more exercise now the other question is how many numbers can you make using digits 3 4 7 1 you have to use these four digits to make many other numbers so here are the examples 3417 and so on now if you have to arrange these number in ascending order and in descending order so how we will start for ascending order will go from small to big so to select the smallest number first we'll see the thousands place of each number in the first two numbers the thousands place is the 3 3 is the smallest number now but in these two numbers thousands place is same 3 and 3 so we'll see the hundreds place again on the hundreds place 4 and 4 same number then we'll see the tens place on the tens place one place is it 7 and in the other number it's a 1 so we'll choose the 3417 as a smallest number after that we can choose 3471 same we will do in the 4731 and 4713 So first we'll select four thousand seven hundred and thirteen, then four thousand seven hundred and thirty-one. Then next number will be seven thousand one hundred and forty-three, and then seven thousand four hundred and thirty-one. This is our ascending order, and in descending order will go in the reverse form. Means the biggest number will come first, and the smallest number will come at the end. Okay now we will learn the concept of indian system and international system we all are aware with the indian system indian system is ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakhs ten lakhs and crores these are the place values when we are writing some number on this place values like 3 at ones place 2 at tens place 4 at hundred place 5 at thousands place 1 at 10 thousands place 6 at lakhs place 9 at 10 lakhs place and 8 at crores place now after that the important is the families of the place value one stands in 100 is coming in the one family after that we'll put a comma then 1000 and 10000 is a one family again the comma will come then the lakh and 10 lakhs is the another family then comma and then the crore when we are reading the number we'll read as per the comma so the first it is a 8 crore 96 lakh 
fifteen thousand four hundred and twenty three. In the other side, if we'll see the international system, it is different from the Indian system. Here it is a ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, million, ten million, and hundred million. Now here again we'll put a comma as per the family. So ones, tens, and hundred is a one family. After that the comma will come. Now here thousand family has a three members. Thousand, ten thousand, and hundred thousand. After that, again comma, then million, ten million, and hundred million. While reading the number, we'll start from the hundred million. So, seven hundred ninety-eight million is the one family. Six hundred fifty-four thousand is the second family, and one hundred thirty-two. Let's read the number once again. It's a seven hundred ninety-eight million six hundred fifty-four thousand and one hundred and thirty-two. Hope you all understand till here. Thank you.